everybody welcome to number 65 of the lockdown series uh, I'm just numbering them now because I've missed a few days well I've missed nearly a fortnight I think uh, since the last video uh, the reason for that is that I've got uh, I've got dodgy knees I've got osteoarthritis in my knees and I've had a flare up so I've been concentrating on getting that sorted uh, it sort of knocks your duck off a little bit but the pain from that you can't concentrate on a great deal so uh, anyway they're all sorted now don't worry about it um, they're a lot better so here we are, day 65. I had a, a message the other day, I put a post on Instagram of my um, uh, setup for just putting wax on pots. And um, I have used the, the, the artificial wax, you know, the, the, the resistant stuff before, but um, it just clogs up your brush and you can never get it clean. It's like a rubber solution. And you just waste a brush every time you use it. So uh, at least with um, with wax, when you I leave the brush in the pot, and when it melts, it just loosens it up again. So uh, I've gone back to using wax, uh, and I'm leaving the artificial stuff alone. So uh, it's just a little bit about that. And I had an idea for making some uh, saucers that go along with these little cups. Uh, so there's a video of um, how I throw these and the saucers and turn and finish them. Uh, they've been biscuit fired already now in the last fortnight so I've just done a load of glazing yesterday and today and there'll be a firing towards the end of the week uh, so there'll be another video about that. So uh, here's today's video. Right here's the setup for the um, the waxing uh, foot rings uh, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is a, an old camping stove it's got a gas bottle in there and we just have to light it up so that's it lit it's just a question of melting the wax uh, the wax has got uh, a wax candle just any old wax candle and some um, white spirits in it just to make it uh, thin right, that's the uh, wax melted now uh, so always remember to turn it off I once left it on and it caught fire and it sort of self combusted. <laughs> that was fun. Good job I was outside. Right. It's just a question of layering it on on this uh, banding wheel. Well, it's not a banding wheel, it's a whirler. Banding wheels have uh, bearings inside. This one doesn't. This is just a whirler. That's it. It stays molten for uh, quite a while, obviously depending on the ambient temperature of the, the surroundings, but uh, I'll do it outside because the fumes of this are pretty bad indoors. Uh, not very hygienic. That's all there is to it. It stays molten. Show you. It stays molten quite long. If it starts to go a bit thick, you just turn it back on. Just got a few uh, few rabbits to wax now. It's, uh, I'll do that in a minute. These are going to be little sort of uh, the little kiln fillers. A golf ball size. Lump of clay, I think, at the top of here. I think you say it was a golf ball sized. Not that I play golf. Although I did when I was a teenager. There was a local golf course where I lived. And uh, we used to caddy at the weekends to earn a bit of money. And we got to play a bit of golf. So that's the um part of these little sets 
and uh, I'll just do the uh, the little saucer slightly smaller ball of clay I'm not going to put the uh, the little foot ring in here where it fits until I turn the base and turn the foot ring on the um, turn the foot ring on the on the, the little cups. I'm going to just hint at it there, uh, but I will turn it later. Okay, I'm just um, turning the feet on these little uh, these little cups. I'm still a bit soft, but uh, we'll manage. Mark where the uh, the outside of the foot ring is because obviously they've got to fit inside a a, um, a saucer. Normally would do all of these together, so I don't have to keep adjusting the um, the gauges, but um, the calipers. But as I'm doing this for the camera, I'll just do this one, and then I'll show you this, how I do the sources. As I've mentioned before, I always use the stamp in the centre there with my finger on the inside and that compresses the centre and stops an S crack because it's thrown off the hump. So that's the that's the cup. Excuse me. Right, I'm just going to turn the uh, the saucer for this. So what I've done is I've done it sort of as a an invisible foot ring on here. This is the base of it. And then we'll turn it over. And this pot's gonna sit there. So I just need to take a measurement. a little more and it's just a question of taking a tiny bit out
that's it, we're sat in its cup, we're sat in its saucer. And another 18 of those to do. Okay, that's today's video. I hope that was enjoyable and answered a few questions for people. I'm um, not sure if I'll make one tomorrow, but when I come up with something useful to say, uh, I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> see you next time.